Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a swatch video. I placed a Sephora order over the weekend. Wanted to share this with you. Um, I got something on sale that was on my loves list. I'm super excited. It's the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip and Liner Set. I'm so excited to get this. I know it's old and they're probably going to come out with a new one as soon as this one sold out and I'm probably going to want that and be mad. But I went ahead and bought this anyway. It was $60. I had it on my loves list for a long time. You know I'm a sucker for mini sizes and deluxe sample sizes. Um, I love the Sephora Favorites kits. They're awesome. You get to try a bunch of different products um, instead of buying like one $30 lipstick. So, I mean, what are the chances you're even going to use an entire lipstick? I like to have hundreds of little lipsticks instead. So that's just my jam. So I went ahead and picked up two of these as soon as I saw that they were on clearance. I got my mom one for Mother's Day. So I'm going to do a swatch video for you guys and we'll see what's up with it. Again, this was $60 and they marked it down to $30. So, okay, the first product in here is the Estee Edit uh, Lip Flip Shade Transformer in 02 Turn Down. Now, I thought this was a shady, no pun intended, of them to make this the full size item in the kit. I mean, is anybody really going to use this? I mean, this was one of the full size items. That's why it just turned me off and that was one of the reasons I hadn't bought the kit. It, it made me not want to get it. Oh my gosh, if I can get this thing open, I'll swatch it for you. It's basically just a black lipstick, like 1990s style. And you're supposed to use it to transform other lipsticks. Like you can use this one to make other lipsticks darker. And I guess they have a white one too to brighten up shades. I'm not going to use this. I seriously doubt it. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm just being a hater. I don't know. Typical. The next item in here is a Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Cur Royal. Here's the shade. It looks like a really pretty dark plum color. Everybody loves these Buxom glosses. They rave about them. I usually just give them to my mom because I don't really wear a lot of gloss anymore and she likes Buxom. But who knows, I'm gonna give this a try and see if I like it. The color looks really pretty and they are really comfortable. I just really don't wear gloss that much anymore. I usually just wear like a matte lip color or just a lip balm. The next product in here is the Benefit Double the Lip. And this is the Their Real Double the Lip. It's like the Their Real uh, mascara packaging. This is kind of, I don't know about this one either. It's got two colors, a darker one and a lighter one. And I guess it's supposed to be, the darker one is supposed to be your liner and then your lip color at the same time. I'm not sure about this either. It's gorgeous pink, but I don't think the whole dark and light thing is gonna, I mean, is that even gonna work? I don't know. Awful with it and see. Next up, we have one of my all-time favorites, and this is the reason I went ahead and bought this, because these pencils alone are like 20 bucks. So this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. I discovered this when uh, Sephora had the NARS pencils for the birthday gift. I think that was 2015. And this sat in my makeup drawer forever and then I just randomly pulled it out and started wearing it over the winter time. And I wore it all the time. I'll still wear it. It's gorgeous. It just happened to look really good on me. So I was like, I'm definitely going to repurchase that. And when I saw it in this kit, it justified it right there. I mean the price, you know. Alright, here's the next full size item. This is Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Crimson. 
This looks really pretty. I have one of their eye pencils, but I don't think I've used any Smashbox lip products. And this color looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so pretty. And yes, my arm is super wide underneath. I've been spray tanning, but apparently not there. And I guess these automatically sharpen when you twist them up and nobody can ever figure out how to work them. So those are controversial. I always see people complaining online in the reviews about um, how they can't figure out how to twist it up. But I think it just does automatically for you. The next full size item is Laura Mercier uh, Lip Pencil in Naked is the color. Here's that. You can see the color right there. A good mix of nudes and pinks and reds in this kit. That looks really pretty. I will probably definitely wear that. Probably just as an all over lip color because I don't do a lot of lip liner. Uh, the next product we have here is a Marc Jacobs. This is called Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer and the shade is Pretty Thing. It's a lip gloss. I might pass this along to someone. Super sheer. But who knows, I might try it. I mean, I've already swatched all these, so I'll probably just keep them all. The next product we have is Too Faced Melted Matte. I don't have any of these. I'm wearing Melted Peony right now. I don't have any of the matte ones. This shade is called Sellout. We'll do a little swatch. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. I'm excited to try this. There it is right there. That's gorgeous. I hope it looks good on the face. Next up we have a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bezo. Looks like a gorgeous red. I think this is one of their popular colors. I've heard a YouTuber talk about this, but I can't remember who. And that color looks amazing. I'm loving all these reds in here. And I can't wait to try all these formulas. A lot of these I have never tried. Next up we have Ciate London Liquid Velvet in the shade Voodoo. Looks like a dark purpley brown. Here's a swatch of it. Oh my gosh, the applicator. It's weird. Super soft though. Really pretty. You can see it looks purple on the wand. That'll be cute. And next up we have a Makeup Forever. I've never tried their lipstick either. This is Makeup Forever... Oh, where's the description? Artist Rouge M401 Matte, I guess, is the shade. Oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous red. It looks so pretty. I love all these reds in here and nudes. It's a great mix. Really pretty. Another really pretty. It kind of has an orange, orangey red look to it. Next up, we have a YSL Mini. Uh, the YSL lipstick is uh, the Rouge Per Couture in number 70. I have a couple of these I received when they first came out through Influencer. And they're pretty good. That's a beautiful nude. The only thing bad about these is that rose smell. I'm not a fan of rose smell. You would think that they would have changed that by now, but hey, I'm not mad at them because it's probably been their scent forever. So I'll still buy their, I'll still buy their lipsticks. They feel amazing on the lips. And next up we have a Tarte 
Lip Crayon in Mood Ring is the shade. These pencils, I'm not sure about these. It's so tiny. Let's see if I can do a little swatch. That's gorgeous. And they go on okay on your hand, like swatching them. But I received, um, they put a full size one in my tart order. It was the shade Squad. It looked gorgeous. I put it on yesterday. These are, it was so dry. Like it was, oh my gosh, just so dry. It doesn't seem that dry when you swatch it. It goes on pretty smooth. But when I put that one on the lips, it was a nightmare. A nightmare. I had to like get some Carmex and smush it around, try to blend it out, and then it was just a huge mess. And it looks like this one you twist up. You can see how tiny it is. But I'll fool with these regardless. I have another mini one. It's like a nude shade I received in a Sephora play box. And the last item in here is a brand I've never heard of. No Cosmetics. I've never heard of this brand. It's called No Bleeding Lips Secret Lip Liner. Here's this No Bleeding Lips. God, I hope not. Looks like it's just a clear uh, lip liner. I have a bite one like this. It's like a, just to keep your um, lipstick in place, I guess. I've never really used it as that. I just use the bite one kind of as a lip balm because it's pepperminty and it's clear. But I'll try this and see what's up with it. A little twist out there. And then, um, so I ordered, I ordered a couple other things that, Sephora or got a few other things in my order. I'll share with you, but that is it for all the swatches Beautiful nudes reds and pinks and berries I'm really excited about this and I'm even more pumped that I got it on clearance Sephora favorites give me lip now. I can't wait to see if they come out with a new one I hope so because they've had the same ones on there forever so also with my order, I got a couple hundred point perks. I got the YSL, the Shock Mascara. Can't wait to try that. Um, that was a hundred point perk. I think it's still on there. I also got the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I also received uh, some of this uh, from Influencer, and this stuff is really great. Really tightens up your skin. It's pricey. Definitely pick it up as a perk if you want to try it. I think it's still on the site. And then I also received uh, the little birthday gift for this year. They had um, this tart one. It comes with a little blush and a lip paint. Here's the lip paint color. Let's see what it looks like. If I can open it. That's pretty similar to that one, almost exact. And this is in Birthday Suit from Tarte. And then you also get a blush in Parte. That's the Sephora birthday gift for this year. They had another choice too. I think it was a skincare Caudalie or Caudalie brand. And I have a ton of skincare right now, so of course I picked this one. And then just a couple samples that came with my order. A Bobbi Brown, looks like a concealer. A Belief True Cream Aqua Balm, I have no idea what that is. And then Lancome Paris uh, foundation sample, it looks like. Oh, and I have another promo, it was like a skincare freebie. This is Peter Thomas Roth. Clinical Skin Care 3% Retinol Pro Strength Retinoid Serum. So hopefully that'll be good too. So that is it for this little Sephora haul. Again, I'm super excited. I got the Sephora favorites on sale. Super pumped about it. I will share my other kits in another video. I've purchased several of these. You really can't beat the deal. Just go to Sephora.com in the search bar, put Sephora favorites, and you can see what 
kits that they're offering at the moment. They usually have a handful to choose from. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.